Hi guys, so earlier this year, January 2019, I had a baby. She's sitting right behind the camera now. Hi! And before I had her, when I was putting together my baby registry, I was so overwhelmed looking for the right vegan and non-toxic products to add. Also just looking for stuff to add. I wasn't sure like how many pairs of clothes I needed or what. Oh my God. This video is actually not gonna be about baby registry items that you need to add for baby. Rather, it's gonna be about baby registry items that you should add for you mama, okay? Because after you have the baby, the only thing baby needs is you. In order to take care of your baby in the best possible way, you first need to be taking care of yourself. So I'm gonna be sharing with you my favorite vegan and non-toxic baby registry items for you that I wish I had had on my registry before I had my baby. So many of these things I ended up having to buy on my own because I realized I needed them after the baby was born. Don't be in my situation. Make sure you put these on your registry right now. Okay, let's get started with all these wonderful things for you, mama. First and foremost, you have to think about helpful services that you might need after the baby is born. After the baby is born, you're most likely not gonna want to, or not gonna have time really, to cook and clean and all that stuff. So, number one thing that I recommend that you add to your baby registry right now is some sort of postpartum support. So that can be a postpartum doula, which I highly recommend. Postpartum doula is a woman who comes to your house after baby's born and just helps you take care of yourself and take care of the household and take care of your baby. We didn't have one right away, but we did hire one more recently to just act sort of as a babysitter and someone to help cook as I went back to work. And it was super, super helpful. So for these services, these typically are more expensive ticket items. So you can use a registry service like Babylist where you can ask people to donate to the cost of one of these big ticket items. Another thing I highly recommend is a chef, a personal chef, or even if it's someone who could just do meal prep and deliver it to your house. I'm still so much hungrier than I was before. I feel like I can't keep up with cooking for myself some days. Before I had the baby, I did do something. I asked my friends to come over and help me cook a bunch of my favorite recipes to put in the freezer for after the baby was born. And that was wonderful. That was a great gift. If you wanna ask your friends for something that's not so expensive, just ask them for their time. Ask them to come over and help you cook before baby is born or to prepare a meal and bring it over before baby is born. Something that you can easily freeze and thaw out for later. Or if you are ready to ask for the more expensive item like a private chef, put that on your registry as well. One thing I treated myself to, about a week or two after the baby was born, was an in-home massage. I have never ever paid for someone to come and give me a massage in my house, but I was feeling like, you know, I deserve it. I just had this baby, it was the most difficult thing I have ever done in my life. It was so incredibly everything. And I didn't put it on my registry, so I had to pay for it. And it was a lot of money. I think it was $200 for an hour. So, I mean, yeah kind of a lot. So put that on your registry. It's one of those things you can ask your, your family and your friends to split. If everybody just pitched in $20, there you go. And it was one of the best massages I have ever had in my life. Along those lines, for a few months after you've had the baby, think about adding perhaps a spa gift card to your registry. Going to the spa after I had my baby has been so wonderful at helping me refresh and relax and just have some quiet, peaceful time away from home and away from the baby. I've been going to a Korean spa up the street. It's only $30 per visit. So think about something like that if you have that in your area. Or you can request that your friends and family give you a more fancy spa package that might cost within the hundreds of dollars, it doesn't matter. Whatever floats your boat, make sure you add that to your registry. And lastly, I recommend adding a facial. When I was pregnant, I had like perfect skin. I did still go get facials because they're so cleansing and relaxing, but my skin looked great. After I had the baby, I started breaking out again. And so I've gone to see my facialist a few times and it's just been wonderful at helping me get my, my, my skin back to normal, 
feel confident about myself, feel relaxed. Having a facial, highly, highly recommend it, especially for helping you boost your confidence. So if you plan to breastfeed your baby, here are some more recommendations for you. When you're breastfeeding, you get super thirsty. People always told me that before, and I wish I had realized that I needed to add some water bottles to my registry. Since I started breastfeeding, I've purchased two of these. It's super large, but I like that it's 32 ounces, plenty of water, and it has a straw, and you can drink it like that on its side. So you would use that when you're laying in bed and breastfeeding your baby. I have a pink one also that I use only in the house. So a few things that I did make sure to add to my baby registry. If you plan to pump, you're definitely gonna need a pump bra. Pump bra just holds the pump parts right to your breast. Now, I honestly think that they should come with the pump because they're pretty necessary. With a pump bra, you can do two boobs at the same time and be hands-free so you can massage your, bo your boobs or do emails or whatever, but you're probably gonna wanna massage your boobs. That's pretty necessary when you're pumping. Another thing that you could definitely use is a nursing bra. It's just a regular bra or sort of like a sports bra type of thing that allows you to pull the front of the bra down to nurse the baby. Honestly, I wear a lot of nursing bras that I just pull them down instead of using the strap part, but it still comes in handy sometimes. And make sure you have a great nursing pillow. The one that I use, I'm gonna link down below. It's super lovely and comfortable. It's filled with little buckwheat pieces. My baby is seven months now. I still use the nursing pillow for her. The one that I bought is 100% organic and I really, really like it. I'm gonna link all these things down below. Being a new mom is one of the least comfortable things I can imagine. After you have the baby, you're uncomfortable. While you're breastfeeding, you're uncomfortable. I'm like many, many months postpartum and I still am uncomfortable for a number of reasons. So any chance I get to make myself more comfortable and cozy, it's really extra important and extra nice. And so for that reason, I recommend making sure that you add all the things you need to stay or to become more comfortable to your registry. For example, new sheets and new towels are so nice when you've just had a baby and you're aching and you're in bed like all the time for like 24 hours a day. It's gonna be really nice if you have some nice, comfy, soft, high quality sheets to lay on. Um, I'll definitely link some great organic ones down below. Also, new towels are so important. So when you finally can take a shower, which honestly, you're not gonna get to take that many showers as a new mom, uh, but when you finally get that shower, you can step out into a nice plush or really soft towel. I'll link my favorite towel down below as well. And speaking of taking showers, one gift that I got in the mail that I love so much, and I only reserve it for very special showers, the company True Botanicals sent me some of their products. I love the lotion and the body wash and the oils. Honestly, I don't use it that much because I want it to last for a long time because it's more pricey and it just smells so good. And it's all natural, so you don't have to worry about, you know, exposing your baby to fragrance and stuff like that, which is actually not good. Any body wash and lotion, any anything that you really like that is so, so special to you, add that to your list. If you like lovely smells like I do, then make sure you have a great diffuser, at least one in your house. Now, I live in a pretty small apartment and I've got three diffusers all around the house. Just because I love diffusing essential oils, I think that they really help me with my mood. The most common one that I diffuse post baby is lavender. I'll just diffuse just pure lavender or I'll do a blend of lavender and orange oil or I will do a blend. Um, one of my favorite blends is by Sage Wellness. When you diffuse it or when you rub it between your palms, and inhale it, it just makes you feel so much more relaxed. Oh yeah, it's called stress release, so that's great for after you have a baby. Make sure you add that to your registry as well. And the very last thing, and this goes back to being plush and cozy and super comfy, is a comfy, comfy, organic, 
cotton or another you know good material robe you are going to live in your robe i certainly did i bought a robe on Amazon an organic cotton robe and it looks like I've had it for like a hundred years now because I have lived in it for the last like eight months. There were days early on when I just, I literally only wore my robe and my night clothes. Like I never left the house. You want to make sure that you have one that you really like and it's comfortable and that has pockets. You have to have pockets if you are a human being, especially if you're your mom. So I will make sure to link the one that I bought as well down below. So those are my must adds, must haves for your baby registry. Make sure you check out the links down below because like I said, I'm gonna link everything that I recommended, my personal favorites for each category. And you can add those straight to your baby registry or buy them for yourself or if you're watching for someone else, buy them as a gift. I promise you they will come in handy. It's just so helpful. It makes your life so much more enjoyable and helps you cope with this new crazy situation of having a baby so much better. So if there are any other things that I miss that you guys think I should have added to my baby registry for mama, make sure you share those in the comments down below. I'm gonna also link to the EWG Environmental Working Group, which is a website that I use when I'm buying new skincare products and makeup and I'm trying to check to see if it's toxic or non-toxic. If you're having a baby soon, congratulations and good luck. It's an amazing journey. And I hope these videos are helpful. If you have any other questions about vegan pregnancy and, and baby and you know postpartum and such, make sure you check out my other videos like my, my natural home birth story video and my breastfeeding story video. All that link below. I'm gonna put this all in a playlist together so you can check it all out. Thanks so much for watching. If you haven't already subscribed, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.